Dude, I just saw the littlest detail, which reminded me why I fucking love how this game looks. I, somewhere, like, over here, there was, like, a little, like... There it is, yeah, that little, like, wisp of wind. I don't know why, that just, like... It looked really realistic to me for a, from a distance. Of, like, the way that snow sort of, like, dusts off of a place when it's windy. Anyway, this is the best view that I could reasonably get while we're still on Microtech. Uh, the IAE is still going on for... till the end of the month. There's been a couple announcements that I've missed. They announced a new concept ship, the, uh, RSI Galaxy. Which seems interesting. Uh, and I went ahead and put more real, actual US dollar money into Star Citizen. <laughs> and I upgraded my Cutlass into a, a new ship. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the new truck out, take her for a spin, get her all outfitted with uh, A rank components. And, uh, yeah. And we're gonna get her, get her all fixed up and ready to go. What do they look like and why do they seem interesting? It's just a bigger space truck. It's honestly just like the bigger, better Cutlass. Like, that's why I replaced it, instead of just buying the ship outright. That's why I decided to replace my Cutlass, because it's literally the Cutlass's bigger cousin, it feels like. Also, we're styling in this, uh, in this jumpsuit. I think my new favorite Star Citizen fit is just this one. This is the... what is it called? The... Az... Aztelin Galena armor. It's a, uh, it's a subscriber item. Star Fittison. For real. Are you excited for New Gundam dropping on Wednesday? Yes! I'm very excited for that. Even though they didn't sponsor me again. But... You know, there were talks. We had talks, but uh, it didn't go through. Uh, but I am looking forward to it. You know what? Before we just head straight to the spaceport, I actually do kind of want to check out what's on the show floor. Because I do actually, I do not actually know what's who's on the show floor right now. I think it might be RSI, considering they just had a ship announcement. Maybe we can rent some ships to mess around with as well. So if you don't know, if you're not well versed in Star Citizen, currently what is going on is a big event in game, a yearly event called the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo where a lot of ships go on sale, a lot of new ships release, uh, a lot of new ships are announced, and uh, if you go up to the ships that are on the, so the show floor, uh, you can rent them for free and fly, fly around in them in ships that you might not otherwise get the chance to fly. Uh, and the game is also free for this period, which is cool, so you can get in and try it out. The Official sponsor, Drake Interplanetary. I love Drake. They're my favorite ship produ producer by far. Speaking of which... Can 
we finally buy these? Hell yeah. <laughs> Got, gotta buy some merch. That's what you gotta do. First order of business. Immediately. Okay. Uh, Zenith Hall? There's a Zenith Hall and the Expo. Apex Hall. I'm not sure which the uh, what the difference is. I think RSA was in Apex today. Today's featured fit manufacturer is Misk. I got you. So RSI is in Apex. Misk is in uh, is in Zenith. I, I do love that the Misk Freelancer is literally just like a Ford F-150 commercial, but for a spaceship. <laughs> I'm a big fan of that. The, the ship commercials are, are honestly such a treat. Oh my god. Look at those big chunkers, dude. They're so huge. Oh, I actually do actually, wait, I actually do want to rent a Hall A. This is a cargo hauler. So the idea is that uh, this part right here, if you can see, no, it's not where I'm looking there. It's, it's sort of like this little hinge. This extends backwards, like to about maybe here, and then there's space for you to put cargo boxes. And it just like glues it to the side of the ship essentially. So it's not like a, a ship that has a traditional cargo hold. I've actually never seen the Starfarer before. So this is a, a, a first, first look at it. What is the difference between the Gemini? The military, oh, this is the military variant. Got it. Trades cargo capacity for reinforced armor, increased shields, more powerful Andrews, and three stronger versions of the turrets. Let's have a look. I want to, I want to get on the inside of this. Oof. This is a big boy. I love I love a big boy. Be warned this ship is a maze. I am oh it, it <laughs> Okay. This is a docking collar. You go this way? There's the stairs. in here little catwalk area oversight room what do we got here escape pods and 
this is the bridge. Ooh, the captain's chair. Sitting in the captain's chair. I wish we had ships with functioning escape pods. That would be really cool. And very cool once uh, soft death gets introduced in 318. So I'm assuming because that was a command area, this is like maybe an engineering level? Oh my god! Oh, I've been... okay. It, 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 that just went. Okay, there's a turret. Dining area, looks like. This area is, is just... maybe it's the curved walls and the fact that everything is like sort of eggshell white. This is very alien in terms of, like, aesthetic design inspirations. Like, just this kitchen, these walls. Very, uh, very Nostromu-esque. There are ships that look more like it than this, but I can see the influence. Ooh, ooh let's go down the spooky ladder. Oh, now we're in the maintenance shafts. Right down into the cargo bay. This is a big cargo bay. How much does this, th does this thing hold? Doesn't say. Heavy refueling. Oh yeah, refueling is a thing that is allegedly a mechanic. Let's head up to the uh, Apex Hall. So I want to see the RSI ships. I love the fucking the, the ship commercials. They're so good, all of them. Like from the racing sh ships to like the other ships. Oh, we got a schedule on the wall here. Okay, okay. From t tomorrow to the thirtieth, that's that's the best in show events. So that's when they're gonna show off who won the ship showdown, and that I believe that's also going to be when basically everything from the whole event will be free to rent. What do we got here? Oh shit, they Constellation. Things, just don't go out of style. That the true classics never die. Exploration, combat, now introducing Long Haul Freight. The all-new Robert Space Industries Constellation Taurus. Still. The Mantis is one of nature's most adept predators. Its patience... They're all, they're all so good. I could watch them forever. That's a great stream idea. Tier list Star Citizen commercials. What's the best ship commercial? What makes me want to buy the spaceship with my real world money? So these are all the Constellation variants. They're all uh, 
built on the same framework, but they all serve different purposes. But what I am, what I want to rent is uh, the Scorpius here, which is a uh, a heavy fighter, uh, which is basically an X-wing. It's got these big foldable wings that go out into an X-wing shape. We got space trucking to do. I got a new, I got a new space truck that is begging to get some new components installed. What's your honest opinion on Core Keeper? I think it's a good game. I've had a lot of fun playing it. <laughs> I don't know why you mean honest opinion. They've never sponsored me. Or anything. I've never taken money from Core Keeper. train gets here first. Could you give a few dishonest opinions for contrast? <laughs> I hate Core Keeper. <laughs> Did you get the cool black and red paint? I thought about it. More actually, I meant uh, the. I, I thought about the green and orange paint uh, more so than the black and red one. Love your stream, Sci-Fi? Pog. You should subscribe now. <laughs> Alright, up we go. Damn, this guy's all decked out. Festive as fuck what? looking. What am I fighting for? Merry fucking Christmas. Oh, thanks for the prime. I was joking. <laughs> Works every time. Sure, joking. Yeah, I was. <laughs> Not that you'll believe me. Stole five dollars from another one, and you know what's fucked up? I don't even get the whole five dollars. I get two fifty. 
Bezos gets the other half. You know what's especially fucked up? I quit Prime like a week ago, but you still had a Prime sub? What the hell? Yo, scammed. terminal so first thing we have to do is because i did a character reset i need to move all of this uh items item inventory from new babbage up to the orbital station uh at port tressler thankfully i have a way to transfer many items quickly which is not normally a feature here but i set up a I set up a macro that I saw people using for bulk transfer. All right. Let's pull it out. Welcome to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. Hey, there it is. Vehicle selected. Stand by. Come on. Come on. Remember, your belongings Deliver belong my you. vehicle. Keep a careful watch on all personal items. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following Please location. Hangar 16. Why did they give me the big hangar? This is not that big of a ship. Either way, chat room, say hello to our new Drake Corsair, which is not a rental, but is in fact our new ride. Access elevator is great, by the way. Let me just power this on so that we get all the lights on, and then uh, I'll give you the tour. So first of all, you have this cockpit, which is amazing. Just all the detail on it, all the fact that the levers are functional, the buttons actually do things and correspond, and like 
animate. They have this beautiful CRT effect on the MFDs. You even have this one that is plugged in all the way down here, which is functional and you can actually see it. Yeah, this is the first uh, Drake ship that we've seen that is uh, marked as, by the developers as being, quote, gold standard. Uh, sort of has all the bells and whistles of uh, everything. Got the little bit of dust coming off of there. So, industrialism is the name of the game here. Uh, as you can see, it does not appear that... Uh, it appears that my ship came with fire extinguisher holders, but no fire extinguishers. If that, that is what that little wall mount is supposed to be. It's not, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but this is the captain's quarters. So here we have a locker. Suit storage. You know, very basic kind of bunk. Two turrets on each side. Those each have uh, quad lasers. Here we have crew quarters. There are three bedrooms here. This is dining hall area. All the bedrooms have the same basic look. You know, same deal. Locker, bed, bunk. Toilet area for long exploration journeys. You know, just come through here and just be like, yep, just another day on the spaceship. Taking big fat dumps all day on this ship. That's what we do. That is what we do. Go back through here to engineering. So this is a cool feature that isn't entirely implemented yet, but all of the components on the ship are actually physically viewable. So as we sh swap out things like the power plant or the batteries, you'll be able to actually see that change reflected. Uh, and then eventually there's going to be actual component specific damage so like and we'll need an engineer back here to like repair the power plant or like repair the coolers or like re-up the gravity generator which is like that's another thing you will also be able to there's a button here to open and close that is non-functional right now but eventually what another feature is, is that you'll be able to turn off your gravity gen generator so that you can have zero G inside your ship. Life support systems, very important. And here's the cargo bay. So this is a big old cargo bay. Perfect for just throwing tons of cargo in here and also can definitely fit a few ground vehicles as well. And a unique feature that the Corsair has that uh, isn't, maybe can't see it the best here, but uh, we have floodlights up top of the cargo bay so that if we land at a dark place and we need to see out the back, we got floodlights. Very cool, not a lot of ships have that. Of course, here we have uh, a sort of armory slash EVA airlock, weapons lockers, suit lockers, and then the uh, ship's got a little side hole. Which close, hopefully. All right, seal her up. All right, first thing I gotta do is put all of my stuff in this inventory, in this inventory. And I'm gonna do this using a voice control macro. So I'm gonna activate that. We're 
We're going to say transfer from right. Transfer from right. There it goes. Oh, it's not working. Oh, no, there it goes. Stop all. I forgot to set up filters. Transfer from right. Stop all. So first of all, some of that armor went on to me instead of in here, so. You just put back on my right armor pieces. Also, this thing doesn't have a lot of SCU. What the fuck? I could have fit the, my entire inventory in the in the cutlass. But this is full already. Not great for loot hauling. Seems like. Interesting. I might have to make a couple trips then. Or get out a bigger ship. Let's just get out a bigger ship. Transfer from left. working, but it's not quite working. Stop all. Transfer from left. Oh, it's not going far enough. Fine, I'll do it the hard way. Stop all. Yeah, voice attack is a little glitchy, but it's the only good way to get bulk transfer of items in Star Citizen actually to do something. I'm just going to put them all on the Caterpillar. Just to take them to Tressler. Yeah, it doesn't hold much loot, which is crazy. Okay. Um... Da -da -da -da. You know what? I'll do the busy work later. I'll do the busy work later. Right now, let's just get this truck outfitted with new components and running well. So let's see. Vehicle loadout manager. Enter Corsair. It's a size 2 quantum? Sweet, we can just whack our XL1 in there. Perfect. Alright, I need it to find. Where can I go to find... A FR-86 shield generator is what I am looking for. Star Citizen item finder. Six. 
looks like really Because, uh, if I'm reading this right, size three, grade A. Okay, but how does it compare? To this. Okay, they're the same shield capacity. the same. They're the same. So why did you buy the Corsair if it doesn't have that much space? It doesn't have that much item space. What it does have is cargo space, which is different. Chat. I have something embarrassing to say. You are clear to launch. The shield generator that I've been looking for through the item finder, we can buy it here. I should have checked before pulling the ship out. So instead, we're going to Grimhex. Check this out. Hell yeah. Spread those wings.
So the ship also has a stupid amount of firepower, by the way. Just to let you know, this ship has a absolutely bonkers amount of forward firepower that it can dish out. As we get out of our armistice, I'll show you, but we have, if you can see it on the right side there, we have six cannons that can be controlled by the pilot. On top of that, there are also two turrets with four guns each. And then there's a remote turret for the rear gun that the co-pilot can use. <laughs> it is an exploration ship, but it's also designed to kill anything that we might find while exploring. It's all for self-defense. It's a dangerous galaxy out there, you see. There's d <laughs> Dude, this ship is actually going to go crazy in Xenothreat once that comes back. Because, like, it's literally combination combat cargo. And the hold with the floodlights, yeah, that'll be really good. Alright. Oh, we're going over to Crusader. Uh, we are you are now free to move about the cabin chat room. These turrets have a pretty Pretty fair range of motion, too. Let me go over here. Uh, power on. Okay, no, they each have two guns, but they're quite large. But yeah, they can eat, the turrets can basically fire forward as well. So you can get basically eight guns on a tar target. Uh, at a time in front of you. Is this game worth playing yet? First time chatter. So, I can't answer that question. Because, first of all, <laughs> hey Quantum Drive, you're looking nice today. Because I don't know what's worth it to you. You know, what 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 is worth playing to you is completely subjective. So for the average person, if you're into games like this. If you're like, you know, into games like this, you, and you like sandboxes that are like, just so sort of like, you know, open-ended with a lot of, uh, like, just different things to do. I still need to try the roof elevator during Quantum. We will not be trying the roof elevator during Quantum. We will not be doing It's a beautiful fucking ship. Ooh, 
exterior lights on. Oh, that's these. The like wing blinkers. So if I was going stealth mode, I could uh, exterior lights off. Oh no, those are still on. So what are the exterior lights? Are they like bottom lights? Or are they, are they on auto right now? They might be on auto. Bed Bananas party invite received. Ooh, yeah, I'll accept. Yeah, also bear, bear in mind you need a pretty okay computer to run this game. I mean, I'm on a 1080, which some would say is an ancient card by now, considering they're pushing out 4080s. But it still does good. I have a really good CPU and a lot of RAM, though. That's what carries my, my computer. A really good CPU and a lot of good fast RAM. We're still zooming. Are we sure we got the XL1 installed in here? It is taking us a bit. But exploration ships are built for endurance rather than speed. This is just goofy. I think I think this happened because I edited the components while it was uh, pulled out. How much mo fucking RAM do you have, Wobo? I have fucking more than you, man. I don't know, I have like 64 gigs. I literally couldn't get this game to be playable no matter what I did. Really? I have a... So I have a 1080. I have 64 gigs of RAM. And I have a Ryzen 7 1700X for my CPU. Also needs to be on an SSD. Yes, that too, 100%. Dude, I can't wait for the cargo refactor. I'm so excited for physicalized cargo. I'm on a 2070 with 16 gigabytes of RAM. You should be able to run it, in fact, better than me. I'll try again sometime. I think we're gonna be getting on sometime in the next couple days, like the homies, because uh, the big event that they're coming down with now is going into its final couple days. And then during that time, it's gonna be like a big showcase of ships. Uh, so they'll be, you'll have access to a lot of ships and a lot of ships will be free to rent. Here we are, finally at Crusader.